This week, we're going to introduce a tool called the Francis List. It used to be called the Frank List. Uh, I'll ex maybe explain why in, in just a moment, but now it's the Francis List, F-R-A-N-C-E-S. The idea in what we're doing here is we're using Francis to give us, uh, to think about the circles of influence or relationship that we have in our life. And, it, and because the whole thing is, is that God has given you a sphere of influence, you have friends, you have relatives, you have acquaintances, you have neighbors, you have colleagues, you have enemies, and you have strangers. Now that probably covers every type of circle of relationships that you have in your life. All of us have them. Now, some of us have lots of people in some groups and not very many people in other groups, uh, but all of us have different types of relationships. And as we start to think about them, we start to think about who are my friends that are far away from Christ? Ah, I have a friend, you know, John, he's, yeah. And you, and you would then write his name down uh, right on, on our list, on our Francis list. Or you might think about your relatives, those who are far away from Jesus, and, and, and you, you want them and you know that the Lord wants uh, has put them in your path, you're gonna write them, their name down. Those names become people that you pray for every day. The Francis list becomes your daily prayer project. Every time that person comes to your mind, you lift them up to the Lord. Lord, give me an opportunity to build relationship with them. Uh, maybe for a neighbor that you don't know, that you don't really have relationship with, you maybe know them by sight only. God, help! give us an opportunity to, to meet each other, right? And so that those names, as you write them down, they become your prayer uh, burdens. And daily you begin to lift them up in prayer and watch and see what God does. But it begins with thinking about the circles of relationships, F-R-A-N-C-E-S.